Welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode, Get Ready, Get Set Clean, is brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library. Hi, I'm Alice. And Library Salad is just taking a theme, a topic, tossing around some ideas. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning. Now, maybe you may consider yourself a clean freak, or maybe you can relate to this New Yorker Magazine cartoon by Roz Chass, where it actually lists ideas of 200 meals you can whip up in under 20 seconds, how to ignore a 17 inch dust ball, or I let my house plants die, and the ever popular defrosting with dynamite. So no matter what category you put yourself in, I hope you're gonna get some great ideas today and make it a little bit easier. What I think is that sometimes people believe that a certain particular household chore takes longer than it does. I know we all have them. I myself always felt that a just washing down the shower stall and the tub takes a long time. And that's something I would put off. One day I decided, you know what? Let me set a stopwatch. Let me see exactly how long it takes. I did it in, and this wasn't rushing, one minute, 30 seconds. So you say to yourself, do I have extra time? One minute, 30 seconds. I see it as that's one minute, 30 seconds less on maybe Netflix, maybe Facebook, certainly uh, time that's well spent. Now, here's something food for thought. Cleaning is not just putting stuff in an obvious place place just like throwing everything into the closet and don't put it down put it away so that is definitely a time saver think of it this way when you come in back into the house and you just want to throw the coat this way take off the shoes leave it this way and try to find things in the morning and they're all crumpled up if when you come in simple quick process it's going to be less time overall when you come in wipe your feet did you know that by not wiping your feet you're bringing in a lot of allergens and things like that so if any of your people um, in your family have trouble um, leave them at the doorstep when you come in just hang up the this, I'm getting funny faces over there. Just so are we leaving the people at the doorstep or the shoes? We are leaving the shoes. Okay, at the I thought we we're leaving the people at the doorstep. We can, but right now we're talking the shoes. So then, when you go into your bedroom where you keep baby, you guess where you keep your clothing. Um, what you're gonna simply do is take off things you're at your closet. If you decide this, the top can be hung up. Hang it up then. Don't throw it on the bed. Same thing with other items. They can be simply folded up, go to the hamper, and the things you just put in the hamper, put it in then. Big savings of time. You might also say, I didn't even have time to fold these things. It is definitely easy to fold. Because look, if you simply have a pair of pants like this, and you fold them like that, bring that down like this, and then three over, stand it in your drawer, this is what it looks like. You have saved so much time by doing it like that. You don't have to rummage through it, try to find out where that actually is. So, all right, thank you. Now, when you get ready to clean, cleaning can actually be a little bit of fun because it's gonna be your time alone. No one's gonna to wanna to be doing this with you. So, you can either listen to an audio book, other music, just dance around, even some of the little bit of mindlessness. If you're looking for a good audiobook or music, you can go to our website. That would be mymobilelibrary.org. Check out the library anywhere. Hit that button. Look for the Hoopla. Hoopla is going to be able to let you download audiobooks, music, and even more. And if you need a library card, you can actually act just get that on our website. Now, a couple of helpful hints. If you've got one of these for doing the floor, good, that is, I find them very quick and easy. Now, I sometimes say, you know, this could be a little pricey with these. You can actually 
turn them around. You don't have to use just the one size and throw it away. If you, once that's been used, turn it around, fold it back under like this and put it back on. I've only seen it do as good a job on this side than on that side. Another helpful hint is a lot of things that you can use that can help make scrubbing a little easier. Always read the directions on the container that you're using, or if you need to refer to a manual, you always do that. But quick and easy thing that's helpful here around toothbrush. You can use this either right behind your faucet, check behind the faucet on the base of that. You're gonna see some dirt that you didn't even know was there. Another great thing that this is helpful for. If you use hair products and you're using hairspray, things like that, you may think it's just staying on your hair. It's actually going on the floor. If you look carefully behind you, on the floor, you will notice a buildup. This is something like this is really good at just scrubbing that away. It's not just gonna come off with a sponge. This is one thing to say. Don't use the toothbrush of people in the house. Use one that's not been used. It doesn't matter if, let's say, someone in the house has been changing the thermostat and making it colder in the summer. That's no reason to be using their toothbrush. Just saying. Yeah, leave that alone. Okay, fine. Okay. You might now, want to get a jacket later, though. Then, yeah. Okay. Next, washing machines. Both a top loader and a front loader. Hold on, I'm gonna take my toothbrush back. Take Casey's toothbrush back. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, top loaders and front loaders will actually be a uh, buildup of mold if you're not careful. What you simply wanna do as a preventative- Use a toothbrush? You could, okay. On the gasket, that's the metal part that's around. Water does settle there. When you've finished doing your wash, most people like to close the door, even the top loaders, close it down, so have a place to fold their wash, something like that, leave them open. It needs to dry naturally. A lot of the um, ones, that, the newer models, will actually have uh, directions in the manual of how to do a special cleaning, deep cleaning cycle, and it will help that. Um, you might want to take a look at that. And detergent. People use too much detergent. You may think the more detergent, the cleaner it gets. Absolutely not. Even in the front loaders, you never use more than two tablespoons for. Check your manual on that too. You'll see that um, that can actually cause a buildup in your washing machine, which means you're paying extra detergent just to have a problem. Don't do that. Here's one. A lot of times, when you're doing the dishes, always let detergent and other things do the job. Even on non-stickware, you may notice, yet it still sticks. What you want to do is you can't scrub on that. You don't. You certainly don't want to um, make any marks on it. But if you simply put it down a paper towel, put a little bit of dishwashing detergent, and underneath the faucet, just put a little water. You certainly don't want it overflowing, but if you put enough on it, it's, it'll certainly spread with a paper towel. Leave it for about a half hour. Go do all the dishes, do whatever else you're going to be doing. Um, but what you can do is in a half hour, it's basically when you take the paper towel off, it'll probably be very clean and less work that you have to do. Some people actually use dishwashers, but just Some a side note. Do. Some people do. I've seeing what happens when something like that goes in the dishwasher too. I don't think it's a good idea. Two each is on. All right, here is a bonus tip, everybody. Nope. Sorry. Bonus, <laughs> bonus tip. The fitted sheet tag. I just found this out. Game changer. How many times when you go changing the bed, you've got your new fitted sheet that you're just, you're putting on, not necessarily doing, but just newly washed. All right, you put the sheet on, you think it's gonna be easy to find, which is lengthwise, which is going across, but now with the um, higher mattresses, the pillow tops, they're making them differently so it's not as easy to find which goes where. Just found out that on the bed, let's say I'm looking at the bed, the 
the bottom right hand corner is where the manufacturer will put the manufacturer's tag washing instructions so when you have your <laughs> you're making faces so when you have your sheet that is a game known that for me, years trust me all right i have so trust me. so you actually take the section that's got the tag put that on and then stretch out to the other ones if you want to switch your, um, it around because you should so this way you don't have the same wear and tear with different sections if you want to switch it out let's say and then you've always had it this for a while if you switched it out you'll have then the tag at the top left either one you don't have to keep trying again which one is it for a good fit so that's what we've got for today hope you enjoyed that and stay clean